Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Shnuka 2 video. Oh my, it is lagging again. I apologize. Today, I will be talking about the final exam I have tomorrow. Very, very exciting. So, there's this class I'm taking. It's called Real Analysis. And basically, it's a very, very... Oh no, what happened? It's a very, very interesting, but challenging math course. And for me, the reason why it's challenging is because so many of the concepts are so abstract. Like, normally when you take a math class, for example, calculus or geometry or algebra, all these things can be applied to further things. For example, you can apply calculus to physics. You can apply geometry to a lot of things. Physics. You see, I, I like physics a lot. Maybe I'll make a video talking about physics. But the, the point is, when whenever I take a math course, it can always be applied to something. Usually, for me, that something is physics. But math, the part I like about math is its applications. They can always be applied to something. Uh, but this math course, real analysis, is different, in my opinion. Maybe I, I my my mind just hasn't been opened to the possible uses of real analysis. But from my knowledge, there are not too many. I mean, I guess if you count the Weierstrass approximation theorem, I was uh, talking about that with my teacher. It could be used for like computer simulations, but it's just like a result. So basically, I, I've, I've talked about this math class for a while, but I really haven't said what it is. Real analysis is a class where you analyze real numbers. Now, what does that mean? So if you've taken calculus, if you haven't, it's fine. I'll try and explain it. If you've taken calculus, Oh my. If you've taken calculus, you may know that uh, there's a lot of things you learn in calculus. And hopefully, if you haven't taken calculus, you also know that there's a lot of things you learn in calculus. But those things aren't very rigorous. Now, what does that mean? It basically means that a lot of the de definitions aren't very strong. They're very, uh, not very, but they're a bit hand wavy. Like some terms are not exactly defined. And so it's not completely stable foundation to do math on. Real analysis kind of provides that foundation for the math. It And it's just basically kind of like a building block for math, if that makes sense. It's just the absolute, absolute basics. So the class starts off, you basically just first have to say, oh, so what is a, well, our class didn't start off that basic, but we, we you basically first talk about the natural numbers, and then from there you get to the real numbers, and then from there you get to proving that uh, the square root square roots exist and so yeah it's basically you just prove a bunch of random stuff about math so that you can do more math with it and that's the reason why I don't like this as much as my previous math courses with my previous math courses uh, we were proving stuff or we, we were learning stuff formulas uh, techniques to solve problems or different uh, topics that are actually applicable like in calculus, you learn derivatives, integrals, and those are useful for physics. But in this class, you do go back to derivatives and integrals. But instead of learning what you can do with them, you learn what you can do with them to do more math. And yeah, basically all the math you're learning is only used to do more math. You... Uh, I don't know. You learn about continuity so you can talk about differentiation. That's that's basically it. 
you learn very, very rigid, rigorous ways to prove things, but they're not very applicable in the real world. And so this is why I think math, uh, at least at this level, is just like art in a way. Or it's almost like the humanities, I guess. And and no, no I don't want to throw, throw shade on the humanities. They're, they're very cool, too. And I appreciate them, too. But at this stage of math, I would argue that math is just like, uh, in its purest form, math is simply just art or humanities. You're using math to create proofs, to create results that are only really, uh, only really applicable within math. And maybe I, I definitely haven't had the breadth of knowledge to be commenting about this, I guess. But that's just my viewpoint right now. If you guys have any opposing viewpoints or examples, please f feel free to leave them in the comments. But it has to be like, like, like math itself usually has a lot of applications, but real analysis, I, I'm not sure. Maybe in computer science it could be used, but yeah, to me it just seems like using math to do more math. When math I view as simply a tool to help you do physics or help you do stuff. And and I appreciate people who do math. I mean, it's it's surely very, very cool. Like, this class has been very cool, but I don't find it as, well, I, I was quite, I guess, surprised about how abstract and, uh, yeah, just abstract and disconnected, I guess it was. It was cool to form such a good foundation for everything, but it was just quite not really surprising, just like interesting to see how formal and uh, everything was. Yeah. So yeah, I have my final for this class tomorrow. Uh, I d haven't really studied too much for it. I probably definitely should have studied more, but Oh well, after this video, I'll study probably a bit more, write write out some of some more of the theorems, and then go to sleep. You know, I'll, I'll, there's there's a lot of funny mathematician names like the Balonzo Weierstrass theorem or the uh, Cauchy condensation test or the uh, yeah. Anyways. So yeah, math, like actual math, is not what you do in school. It's not just plugging in equations and stuff. When you get to actual math, like PH, not, not PhD math, just like college math or like math major math, what it is, it's, it, it's just basically, uh, it's just basically using math to do more math, to do more math, to do more math and so on so yeah that's why i do not think i will be doing much math in college hopefully i mean i will be doing a lot of math but probably will not be st studying math as a major in college or taking many pure math classes they're interesting for sure but not uh not the most appealing to me so wish me luck on my final tomorrow. After tomorrow, I will begin to work on my Schnuckaroo video I've talked about for ages and ages now. All right. I think I still probably sound a bit sick because I still am. Do I sound a bit sick? I'm not sure. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please remember to like and subscribe. And also check out my main channel. It will make me very happy. Join my Discord server. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.